Greetings, brothers and sisters, and happy Friday. This is Ade Ogentoye from Shrine Number no. 9 in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm sure many of you may have noticed that this brother has cut his locks off. And I want to state that while my appearance may have changed, dedication to the mission has not. I always knew that at the birth of my first child that I would cut my hair off as a symbol of new growth and new energy. And so I wanna encourage those of you who are going through any kind of change or challenge today that your world may look different, but our mission stays the same. Nothing is more sacred than the liberation of black people. Now we may go through different things. We may lose jobs, we may lose friends and family, and we may mourn when those things happen. But we must also remember that if nothing is more sacred than the liberation of black people, that we have to pick ourselves up. And that the trappings of the world should not define us. I started off this week by reminding us that we are on the right side of history. Secondly, I asked us to always bet on black people. Thirdly, I reminded myself and others that this is an intergenerational struggle. And yesterday we said the revolution is inside of all of us. Today, I wanna to start off or finish the week by stating that our God is an awesome God. Now, I know we sing that song and we say those words, but we must believe that in our heart and know that yes, things may look tough. Th yes, things may be difficult, but the world is not the author of our future. And if we are obedient to God, if we are obedient to the call that our ancestors have put on us, that we will be victorious because we serve an awesome God, because we are part of this conversation with the ancestors. So I'll encourage you today to understand and to feel and to be in communication and conversation with this God that knew you in your mother's womb and knitted you together there. Don't fall for despair and into despair because of what is going on in the world. Yet know that we will be victorious that we will survive, not only survive, but that we will thrive. So today, look for God. Look for the awesomeness of God, even in the ordinary, in the smile of a child, in the conversation with an elder, in that Zoom meeting that you don't wanna be at, but recognize there may be an opportunity to form a relationship with someone else or help someone else out. Our God is an awesome God, not just on Sundays, not just when you want him to be, but at all times, she is there and she is awesome. So take the time today to understand that our God is awesome. And that means that we can see awesome and great things in everything. And in fact, we can be great and awesome ourselves.